Since the year 2000, Austin's Playroom Project has benefited families and improved the quality of a child's hospital experience by establishing cheerful playrooms that are safe, calming, and comfortable. 19 playrooms have been created as a direct result of this luncheon. Thousands of patients, siblings, and families have benefited from Austin's Playrooms. Two of these families were able to share their experiences. Frank and Megan Fischetti's daughter, Mia, used the playroom while her brother, Frankie, was admitted for an emergency appendectomy. Without Austin's playroom, we would have had to find something to do to occupy Mia's time. With the playroom, she was able to go there and have fun pretty much the whole time we were here, and he was able to rest and recover in his room. The Schust family continues to use the playroom because of multiple medical issues with both of Sarah's youngest sons. For me, it's changed the dread of going to appointments with my children. There have been days where I say, you know, we have a doctor's appointment today, and they're like, are we going to Children's Hospital? <laughs> it changes the mood. It changes, it changes the event. It just allows freedom for them. For these families and countless others, an Austin's Playroom lets kids be kids at a time they need it the most. You walk in those doors and it's just fun. She was excited on the way to the hospital. I love coming here. I really wanted to do the playroom first. I was excited to get out of my hospital room and come down and play. It's this haven away from what the hospital room looks like. There were crafts and dolls and trucks and cars and the fish and the volunteers there. My favorite thing to do here is play Wii. And I like to, to do the crafts, and sometimes I like to do the choo-choo trains a lot, but the ice cream truck was my favorite because he goes so fast. My favorite thing to do here is to make the crafts. They had teenager games, they had kid games, they had board games. We would go and just sit in Austin's playroom and watch the fish. It created a sense of peace for us just to be able to sit and relax. It was nice. It was a nice break for me, and it was a nice break for him. There have been times where I just need to step back um, and make some hard decisions, really think through some difficult um, options. For me to be able to do that and know that our children are being loved and cared for and, and entertained um, and, not, and not afraid, I rely on it. Um, I'm thankful for it. Being able to be here with Frankie while he was going through this meant everything. It kept us all together without switching off somebody at home with her, somebody here with him. We all got to still be together. She got to see her brother. He got to see his sister and both his parents, for the most part, at the same time. What a sense of peace and now hope that I have. I can focus now on Michael and not not so much um, on how, how to handle all of them at one time in a doctor's office. It was, it was very peace-giving to me. The Mary Ellen Mew Foundation is proud to announce the 2013 luncheon recipient of an Austin's Playroom is Connemaw Memorial Medical Center in Johnstown. We are extremely grateful to be able to have this opportunity, extremely grateful to the Mary Ellen Mew Foundation, to the contributors and the donors, um, especially that come to the luncheon and support this. The Austin's Playroom will be located in the main play area on our maternity floor. It's a beautiful building that we're in, but it needs some color and it needs to be kid-friendly, family-friendly. So we are looking for things that are interactive and that, that it's warm and inviting. We are huge hockey fans um, in the Johnstown and surrounding areas, obviously huge Penguin fans. So to have the Austin's Playroom come to the Memorial Medical Center and for our patients and for the visitors to be able to see that presence is amazing. We can't say thank you enough to Natalie Lemieux for you know, having this vision and, and um, letting us be a recipient of the Austin's Playroom. As a result of this Austin's Playroom Project luncheon and fundraiser, we continue to make a difference in the lives of the families we serve. On behalf of Natalie Lemieux, thank you to our event chair, auction co-chairs, table captains, sponsors, volunteers, and attendees who make this event a success. You continue to make Natalie's dream a reality.
love to come to the playroom.